Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. These angles of, of light that we see are a great demonstration of a couple of things. Uh, we can only see light when it's reflected or we are looking directly at it. We wouldn't normally see the angle which the light is coming down uh, if there was no smoke there, but the light is reflecting off the smoke and so we can see that difference between the, the lit up smoke and the shaded areas. Really we're seeing more, more of the shadows than we are of the beams of light. And so this is, these, these, these shadows, we're not seeing rays of light, we're actually seeing shadows. So it's the local shadows of the tree creating those rays. Uh, so when we look at uh, crepuscular rays uh, shining through clouds, it's the shadow created by the cloud which uh, dictates the angle or the, uh, the apparent beam, as it were. So you can see now we have no idea without the smoke of the angles at which the shadows are coming down unless we actually look down at the shadow and do some math there. So these rays over here created by the shadows of this particular tree are not the same, well they vary you see, they've got different angles there. So as we walk around this tree, we see a kind of carousel or maypole effect created by the, the shadows spreading out from the top of the tree, uh, making it appear as if the sun is right there, right above that particular tree. And we look at the angles of the shadows created by the other trees and they seem to be going in a different direction. So I think we have a gross misunderstanding of what sunlight is and how it behaves. We never actually see beams or rays of light. All we ever see is uh, light when we are looking directly at the source or sunlight reflecting off of things into our eyes. And in this case we see the light reflecting off the smoke particles. So when we observe these localized illusions of sunlight, it becomes clear that we are experiencing something much more esoteric than a fiery ball of gas in the sky. We can measure distances and angles across the ground to ascertain the height of something coming up from the ground or in the air or the sky above us but with the sun and other celestial objects we simply can't physically measure the distance to them. What we seem to experience is a concentration of light, a focal point of sunlight that is uh, totally dependent upon the individual observer and their perspective at their particular location. Food for thought I hope. Thank you very much.